Hello everyone, welcome to this school. So today we are going to discuss about the chapter Plant Growth and Development. So in this chapter there are totally six topics. Okay. We are going to see uh, what are the growth stages in plant and how plant and how it develops. Okay. So the first topic is growth. So in growth there are uh, five subtopics. Plant growth, which is uh, plant growth is intermediate. Growth is measurable. Phases of growth growth rates and conditions for growth okay and the second topic is de-differentiation differentiation de-differentiation and de-differentiation of plants okay and then the third topic is development and fourth topic is plant growth regulators so in this topic there are three subtopics characteristics of plant growth regulators discovery of plant growth regulators physiological effects of plant growth regulators so here there are again it is uh, divided into five subtopics again. Auxins, auxins, cyberlin, cytotoxin, cyberlin, and abscisic acid. Okay. And the fifth topic is photoperiodism, and the sixth one is vernalization. Okay. So first we we'll go with the first topic which is growth. Mm -hmm. Then we will be discussing about plant growth. Uh, uh, growth in plants is intermediate, and uh, the measurable growth and everything we will discuss. Okay. So now we are going to see about the first topic, which is growth. Okay. So growth is uh, irreversible, permanent increase in size. Mm -hmm. So it cannot, uh, it cannot be reversed. Yes. And uh, size, in size, and an organ or parts or a cell, these all can grow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, so we are going to see the first subdivision in growth. Plant growth in general is intermediate. Yes, plant growth in general it is intermediate. Okay. So here, uh, plants in, in case of plants there is unlimited growth. Okay. Up to its lifetime, these plants always divide these cells, always divide their cells, and they will be growing continuously up to their lifetime. Okay. So in plants especially unlimited growth throughout its life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because of the presence of mesosomes in particular regions in plants. Okay. So these mesosomes have capacity to divide unlimitedly. Okay. Okay. So therefore these mesosomes continuously divide. So since these mesosomes have the capacity to divide continuously, mm -hmm. they form new cells continuously. Okay. So therefore the new cells continuously formed by these mesosomes. Mm -hmm. So this type, kind of growth is called open, open form of growth. Okay, since it is continuously forming new cells, it is known as open form of growth. So now, what is primary growth and what is secondary growth? Primary is when the seed grows into the small plant. Yes. And secondary growth when it. So what is primary and secondary growth? Primary growth, uh, it's when the seed grows to the small plant. Mm -hmm. When the when seed it starts to grow, they will be having root income minister and root income minister and everything. So that leads to primary growth. And secondary growth is because of the lateral medicine, like yeah. vascular cavium, physical vascular cavium, and surface areas get larger and larger. Yeah, the, when the lateral areas get the larger, it is known as secondary growth. Okay. So this is uh, growth, okay, in general plant growth, uh, it is intermediate in general, okay. So next we are going to see growth is measurable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can measure the growth in plants. Okay, it is measured by increase in fresh and the dry weight. So what is fresh and dry weight? Fresh weight is nothing but with the water content how the how much the land weight. The is. dry weight is the without water the water content. content. Okay, and the length length area volume and number of cells it is measured. Okay, the growth of length, the growth of area, yeah. the growth of volume. Each one uh, is for it varies with the uh, different parts of plant. Okay. So, for example, if you take one maize shoe root typical medicine, okay, one one maize root typical one plant, one maize plant root typical medicine can divide up to can give up to seventeen thousand five hundred cells per hour. So, this is uh, measured by number of cells. This is a measure of number of cells. Okay, and this one cells of watermelon can increase in size up to. 350,000 times. Mm. Okay, so this one is increasing fresh weight because water watermelon have lots of uh, water, water content in them. So this one is increasing fresh weight. It is 
cell in cell DNA. This is increase in cell number. So each one differs with the, uh, each plant or all. Okay. So if you take a pollen tube, it is measured in length. And if you take increase in surface area, uh, a leaf, it, if you take a leaf, it is measured in a surface area. If you take branches, then also it uh, measures with the surface mm -hmm. area. Okay, so the, uh, these are uh, the measuring, how to measure growth in plants, okay. So next we will see the phases of growth, subtopic under uh, growth. Okay. Third, growth we are going to see the next subtopic which is phases of growth. Okay. So in phases of growth, uh, we are going to see general things. So here, uh, in phases of growth, The period of growth okay, is generally divided into three. Metastomatic period, elongation period and maturation period. Okay. So these three periods are well seen in the root tips. Okay, okay. So for example, if you take the root typical metastem, it is metastomatic, it continuously divides. And the proximal, the cells which are upper to the root typical metastem, they have elongation phase. And further away from the elongation phase, which is proximal to elongation, it is known as maturation phase. So these three phases we have already studied in the anatomy of flowering plants. And then also we see the three regions of these roots, elongation, maturation yeah. and metastomatic region of roots. So here that we studied about the cell kinds of everything. So in metastomatic the cells when uh, cells had a large number of proplastic pro yeah, continuously divides, divided everything. So in each uh, metastomatic and elongation and maturation regions, the cells, uh, the morphology of cells differs, like uh, amount of protoplasts, the walls and everything. Yeah, so these all, these all we saw in the uh, anatomy of flowering mm -hmm. plant in that chapter itself we saw. Okay? So these uh, are period of growth. Okay? Okay. So next stage is that, uh, next subtopic we are going to see about growth rates. So this growth rate is nothing but now uh, increased growth per unit time. So how much uh, growth is increased per unit time is known as growth rate. Okay. So here growth is of two kinds. First one is arith arithmetic growth and then geometrical growth. Okay. So in arithmetic growth, uh, if you take two cells, you know, two cells are here. One cell continuously divides and the other cell remains same. For example, if you take here two cells are there. One cell of these two cells divides into two. See here, one cell of these two cells divides into two. Yeah. The other cell is the same here. And in these three cells, one cell divides into two and the other two are the same. Yeah. Okay, other two are same. And in these four cells, one cell divides into two and the other cells are same. Yeah. So, one cell is continuously dividing and the other cells are the same. So this kind of growth is known as arithmetic growth. Okay. In geometric growth, all the cells divide. So here if you take starting, there are two cells. So all the, these two cells divide into two. One cell divide into two and the other also divide into two. Four cells divide into four. Eight cells. Eight divide into two. Yeah. So all the cells are dividing. So this type of growth is called as geometrical growth. Okay. So both we have seen. Arithmetic and geometric. In this, uh, except one, everything will grow like the same. No. Except one, the other will come in. Only one cell divides, others are same. Only okay. one divides, others are same. Okay. okay, only one divides, not this, you, uh, you have said it wrongly. Only one cell divides, okay. And others, see if you have these two cells here, one cell divides into two, other cell is same. And in these three cells, one cell divided into two and the other two cells are same. Mm. In these four cells, one cell divided into two and the other three cells are same. And in these uh, five cells, one cell divided into two. Okay, okay. the same two 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 for yeah. uh, okay. This is known as arithmetic growth and that one is known as geometric growth. Okay. Okay. So actually you will see more about arithmetic and geometric growth. Next subtopic. Mm -hmm. No, not next subtopic. The same subtopic we are going to see more in more yeah. about, uh, arithmetic and geometric growth. Okay. Okay. So in growth rates already we have seen there are two uh, two types of growth rate, two types of uh, growth which is arithmetic and geometrical growth. 
So in arithmetic growth, only one cell divides and other cells remain same. Geometric growth, all cells divide into two. So here in arithmetic grow, uh, growth, there is a simple equation where Lt is equal to L0 plus Rt. Okay. So Lt is nothing but length at any time t. Okay, and length at any time, which you take as particular period, which you take. Okay. And this L0 is length at time 0. Initially, what is the length of that uh, particular part? So L is Rt. So here, uh, and this is nothing but growth rate mm -hmm. per unit time. Okay, growth rate or like okay, elongation per unit time. So how much it is grown per second or per unit time it is known as Rt. Okay. So this is the equation uh, to find arithmetic growth. Okay. So this is the graph representing this arithmetic growth which is, which is a straight line. Okay. So it continuously grows. This is the time and height of the plant. So it continuously grows in arithmetic growth. Okay. So next we are going to see geometric growth. So in geometric growth also we have a simple equation to represent this geometric growth. So the here W1 is equal to W0 e to the power rt okay so here w1 is equal to final size it is a final size what you uh, it is the size at type d what is what is the size of final d at the time what is the size finally what is the size okay and w0 is the initial size okay at the starting at the beginning of the period what is the size of the plant that one is w0 and the e is nothing but the base of the natural uh, logarithm okay and e to the power r t is r is nothing but growth rate and t is the time of growth. Okay. So by substituting all these uh, values, we can uh, predict geometric growth. Okay. So this is the geometric growth curve. Okay. So uh, these have three phases. These geometric growth have three phases. First one is lag or lag phase. Okay. Lag or initial phase. And then, yeah, lag means it takes a uh, slow time, uh, it takes time to become big, okay. So then the middle one is exponential phase. So in exponential phase, uh, these cells uh, divide enormously, they divide continuously into a huge number of cells. So and then a stationary phase, they stop their growth rate, okay. That is one of the last phase is stationary phase, okay. So this exponential phase is also known as log phase, okay. So lag phase, log phase exponential phase okay so uh, this uh, this curve is known as yes curve okay this so it's a yes curve okay so this geometric growth occurs in majority of plants leaves uh, other parts and everything branches good okay so next we will see about uh, conditions for growth what are the conditions, conditions for growth So in growth we are going to see the last subtopic. Mm -hmm. So which is conditions for growth. Okay. The required conditions to grow. Yeah. Okay. So what are the conditions for growth in plants generally? Conditions required. Conditions required. Uh, we need sunlight, mm -hmm. oxygen, oxygen, carbon dioxide. We need water, soil. More. Why mm -hmm. we need uh, oxygen? Yeah, oxygen. So here uh, there are uh, six conditions which are required. Mm -hmm. Water, okay, okay, which uh, plays a great role in plants. Uh, Seventy percent, yeah, ninety percent. Oxygen, okay. Water, oxygen, and nutrients. Nutrients are both micronutrients and macronutrients, which we have seen in the mineral. Uh, Nutrient conditions in plants, okay. And then temperature, temperature also plays a great role, light, light, and gravity, okay. So these six conditions plays a great role for the growth of plants, okay. okay? So next we are going to the second topic, which is differentiation, de differentiation, and re differentiation, okay. okay. So what is differentiation, de differentiation, and re differentiation in plants? No, I don't know the differentiation. Okay, okay. okay. So, differentiation is nothing but something differentiates, some cells differentiate right, from their normal performing functions, they differentiate to perform some other functions. So, like if, for example, if you take root typical medicine, shoot typical medicine, and cane rhythm, 
they different they differentiate and uh, they undergo structural changes in their cell wall and protoplasm. Mm -hmm. okay. So actually they differentiate, actually root apical meristem and true apical meristem have the ability to continuously divide. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But when they differentiate, they lose the capacity to divide. Okay. Okay. So these cells which lose, some cells or tissues which lose the capacity to divide are known as different, it is known as differentiation. Differentiation. Okay, differentiate. Uh, they, they, this is known as differentiation. That is, the cells or tissues which are already dividing, but after uh, some time they lose the capacity to divide, it is known as differentiation. Okay. So the same cells, the same tissues, okay, after they lose the capacity to divide, they again regain the capacity mm. to divide. Okay. So first they are dividing, then they are losing, which is known as differentiation. Then they are gaining the capacity to divide, that is known as de-differentiation. De de okay. That is known as de-differentiation. For example, formation of interfesicular and carcanium in the lateral uh, sides from fully differentiated parenchyma cells. Mm -hmm. These parenchyma cells were started in firstly dividing and then they differentiated and they did not divide. So after that they de-differentiate and form interfesicular cambium and carcanium. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is known as de-differentiation. So what is de-differentiation? Yes. Cells. Yeah. First degree. Yeah. So after that, some after some time they lose the capacity to divide. That is known as differentiation. After losing the capacity, yeah, they again gain the capacity, capacity yeah, yeah. to divide. So that is known as de-differentiation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And after de differentiation, now, now in de differentiation, now they gain the capacity to divide. Yeah. Again, if they lose the capacity to divide, that is known as re differentiation. Mm -hmm. So, re is nothing but something which is happening again. Mm -hmm. D is nothing but something which is going back. Okay? Can you understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, these cells again lose the capacity to divide, or known as de differentiation. Re differentiation. So, differentiation again is doing so, it is re differentiation. Okay? So these are the differentiation, the differentiation and re differentiation in plants. Okay, so tissues of the tissues they differentiate, de differentiate and re differentiate. Some tissues do that, but some do not. Okay. So next we will go to the next topic, which is development, development in plants. Okay.